In this um, video, I want to give you a quick overview of how you can use the cryptogram feature of the puzzle generator for PowerPoint. Now, if you've watched the export tool video, you'll know the first thing you need to do is open the export tool. And then down the bottom here, you've got different sheets. You need to click on cryptogram. And now here you have two columns for your data. The first column is where you can put your puzzle. And again, you can just list them all the way down. And our second column here <coughs> is where you can put a author or a clue if you wish. Now, once you've got your puzzles and clues here, what you uh, can do is go to the config file. Now here is our alphabet letters that will be used in the um, cryptogram feature. So if you're using a different language, um, obviously please change these to the language that you're using alphabet. And then once you've done that, we're gonna click on main here and then submit. And then once we've done that, we can go into PowerPoint and then what we want to do here is if we haven't already, we want to create a blank uh, slide. So if you have any empty text boxes on here or placeholders, please delete them first. And then we're going to choose our trim size up here. So for this example, I'm going to be on 8.5 by 11, but you could choose any of these. And then we, what we want to do is click puzzles and then cryptogram. Now our first page here is a game explanation or how to. This is basically just a quick bit of text what explains how to play or complete the puzzle. You can change this if you want by clicking and typing in. And then if you want to include it, click the little box here. If you don't, leave it unticked and click continue. Now our first option here is to choose a, a color for our puzzle letters. So typically you'd want this on black, uh, particularly if you're creating for KDP, but you do have shades gray, which you can also use if you so wish. Our next option here is to choose our, uh, our font. Here you have all the fonts that you have installed in Office. And if you've added any extra to the export tool, you can find them in here as well. And then we can choose our size and our styling. So the key thing to note here is that it's an estimated size. So if the um, puzzle generator can't fit your puzzles in, it may decrease the size. And this is true across our titles, our other font size, and our clue source and font size as well. Now our next option after we've chosen all our font sizes is we have an option to hide the crypto numbering. So down the side of each puzzle will be obviously one, two, three, four, and so on. If you want to, you can hide this by ticking uh, this box here. Our next option is to set a title. So this is just simply the title at the top of the page. Uh, you can call it obviously a cryptogram, or you can translate it, or use a different term if you so wish. Now our next option here is to show source. So if you remember our second column in our, um, in our data sheet is here for author or the clue. So what this option does, you have the different options here. So normal would be to show the, uh, the clue or the source as it is in the Excel file. Encrypted would be to encrypt it like the puzzles. To hide in the grids, means it would hide it in our puzzles, but show it in our solutions or answers. And all hidden means it won't show it at all. It'll just be completely hidden. So on this example, I'm going to go for hide in grids. Our next option here is to sort um, our puzzles by length. Now, if you use the uh, set the dashes option here, that won't sort your puzzles at all, and it will keep them in the order you have them in your Excel sheet. If you choose up, that means it will start at the smallest puzzle and then go to the longest puzzle. And if you choose down, it will start from the largest puzzle 
and then go all the way to the smallest puzzle. Typically, I would recommend that most uh, people use up. This is simply because it allows you to fit um, more puzzles onto a page and because if you sort by length, it's also sort of sorting by difficulty as well. So you start with the smaller and easier puzzles and then you work your way to the more difficult ones. Now, our next option here is how to um, show our grids. So the best way to explain this, I think, is to show you. So if I leave it on show, click OK. What show grids is, is it leaves our grids here like this. So our little squares with our, um, our puzzles in and squares above uh, for space for the answer. And then if we go back into puzzles, cryptogram, our next option is to hide the grids, but to have space still in between the sentences. So if we click OK on that, just to show you. So here, the grids are hidden, but you still have the spacing um, where um, the puzzle solver or customer can put in the answer. And our final option on uh, the grids is to hide the grids and to have um, just the default spacing in between. So what this does here is it does not leave the space in between on the sentences like this. So now if we go back into the cryptogram feature, our next option here is to start our numbering at. So typically you'd want to start at one, but say you create 20 puzzles and then you decide I want to create 20 more. You could start this at 21 and then the puzzles would be numbered 21, 22, 23 and so on and so forth. And we have an option here if you wish to have only one puzzle per page. Now, uh, where you might like to use this if is if you are hiding the grid and you do not have the space in between the puzzles, this then allows a lot of space below to do your working out. And then our final, uh, our final option here is to add a left or right margin. Now this is pretty essential when creating for KDP as you want to have a margin either side of the page. You can choose on this between zero and one, I typically go for 0.75. But now we've gone through all of our um, all of our features here. Let's click OK so you can see what a completed cryptogram puzzle looks like. And as you can see on this example, I've hid the grids but keep um, kept the space in between. As you can see, creates our cryptogram. On each page, we have our title at the top here. We have our numberings down the side, like so. And as you, as you can see, as you might have known, we started with our smaller puzzles and then we've gradually increased in size to our largest, like so. And then what we have after this is a hints page. So if someone's getting stuck, they can flick through to this and we'll have hints for every single puzzle. And then finally, after this, we of course have our answers. So I hope this video helps you get started creating cryptograms using the puzzle generator. Thanks for watching.